Hey guys, I'm back. This is hopefully just gonna be a short little video. Um, this is kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to start this channel because um, I had some pretty cool uh, finds in the past and never caught them on a video. So for this one, um, I've already gone through this completely. This actually happened six months to a year ago. Um, I ordered, um, there were three separate listings on eBay um, from this woman who was clearly like a, like a storage unit picker and didn't really know what she had. Um, she listed cards um, in binders basically as she found them she took some really vague pictures um it was really hard to tell if there was anything decent in these binders at all took a gamble got each binder for just over 100 bucks um total probably like 400 bucks for three binders and uh when i got them lo and behold inside was um almost a complete play set of ninth edition Um, time spiral um, and um, the time shifted rares that go with it cold snap and uh, what's the other one there was one other I guess that's it yeah there's essentially three sets um, so I was just going to quickly try to go through and just show you some of the cool stuff that actually ended up being there. It wasn't a complete playset. Um, it was missing a couple of notable ones. Just to real quick show you, there's like a four of, of stuff like that. And I apologize, I don't have my regular camera mount with me. Uh, these were in perfect mint condition, all of them. I guess I missed some. Land locks it on more hammers there, but uh, real quick, I'm just gonna skip to the end and show you actually like some of the good stuff here. We'll start with the uh, with the uh, time spiral stuff. There's a place set of gemstone caverns. I know it's so hard to see at this angle. Scion of the Air Dragon, four of. Walk the Aeons. Another trader. Trick bind. I sleeved these up because they were not sleeved. They were just in there. Four to a pocket. Same cards. And uh, nor in the wary. Sure. Um, when I pulled, I pulled all the good cards and I left all of the comms and uncoms that weren't worth much and threw those back onto eBay. And I actually. I probably recouped about half my money just by doing that. So a lot of this, what I'm showing here is all gravy. So that was, I think everything at the time when I pulled it, everything that was like five bucks to 10 bucks. This is all stuff that was over 10 bucks for time spiral. Place set a restore balance. I, I'm not sure what these are worth now at this point. I know living end is like a $26 card now. So there's boom, hundred bucks. Safi, Eric's daughter, pretty sure that's 20 bucks still. And a gauntlet of power, I think it was crept up to 18, 20 bucks now. And swarm yards, I think are about 10 bucks. So unfortunately this one was missing uh, ancestral visions. Boo, right? That's all right, because here in the other stuff, I'll show you what I got there. Here's like the, at the time, this was all five to 10 bucks. Teferi's puzzle box times four. Defense grid, four of. Oh, this is a terrible video, video you guys. I'm just gonna throw it up there. Elvish Pipers. There were no foils in this. It was all just uh, basic um, versions. Yeah, 
and then some cold and snap stuff. Again, it's been a while since I've looked at these, and I know these are like in the five dollar range, I believe. There. And at the time, this the throwing stones I think were under ten bucks. As of this video, I know they're all the way up, like over thirty, thirty-five bucks each. I have a sad story for another day on some throwing stones that I sold for a lot less than they are worth now, but whatever. All right, and then the last little grouping here, I'll show you. Throw some of these in the back for a end reveal. It's time shifted Lord of Atlantis. I think these are still worth ten bucks or so. Arkham Dagson. Got four of those. Braid of Fire has been going up, up, up lately, so that's cool to have, right? Weather Wayfair from 9th edition. Probably 12, 13 bucks, right? Lord of the Undead. It's always going to be popular. Grave Packs. Pretty fun card. Greater Good. And good old Seedborn Muse. Still over 20 bucks. And then the best card that I pulled out of the whole set, a play set of Dark Depths. And these are each 60 bucks right now. That's it. Just kind of showing off. Um, got a couple of other little <laughs> bedtime stories to show you guys. Um, because uh, I was not recording at the time when I pulled these out of boxes. Um, basically as blind buys from eBay and Goodwill. So just something I wanted to basically get recorded before I turn around and probably sell all this stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching. You can yell at me down below in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, yada yada. Thank you.